just a quickie. Uh, got the fan fixed up again. A few weights on it just to sort of stop it from vibrating too much. But uh, we're not getting any wobbling now. This, this was wobbling and it was uh, this end here simply because the uh, the back end of it wasn't actually fastened down so it was just freely vibrating whereas now it's fastened down so that's now good you can see the engine isn't moving it's actually as i'm looking at it it's pretty stationary a bit of vibration but it's basically held down by the stand i've got some weights on it just to stop it from basically moving but i think it'll, it'll still be stationary even if i put the weights off that banging you can hear is uh, the secondary fire What's happening is that, and you can see, you've got exhaust coming out, that's the flashes, there you go. What's happening is, it misses a stroke, so it actually ejects fuel which is not burnt, and then in the next stroke, there's a fire coming out, <laughs> and uh, what it does is it ignites the stuff that's just outside of the fuel pot, the exhaust port. So it causes a bang outside the uh, outside the engine, so it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, we've got quite a lot of spitting down there, so there's obviously like unburnt fuel or something down there, and that's why it's doing what it's doing. The about doing that, it's just that on this side it seems to be igniting it because the flame shooting further or something. I don't know. Hey, it sounds a bit bad. But in actual fact it's completely harmless. A little bit of a wave front and that's about it. There's nothing going on in the engine. It's not backfiring through the engine. I'm just letting it heat up. A little bit of smoke coming off it. I don't know if you can see it. That's just oil that's just all over it. Because uh, I've sprayed it down with WD-40 to clean it up. Hey! It's a bit unnerving when that happens. But it is actually harmless. And you can see this. I'm holding the camera quite still. You can see the engine's not moving that much. down properly you know you need to run it at around about 2000 rpm to make it work on the Prius motor the Prius generator about 2000 rpm should be about right and that will give us around about the 100 volt mark uh, that's 100 volt RMS of course is it? yes it is it's about 100 volts no it's not actually it's a bit more it's when I was measuring the original one I was measuring it off one phase, so it's it is it's kind of RMS, but it's RMS on uh, on uh, because I was measuring it on two phases on a two phase, then it would be RMS of the two phase of the phase the single phase rotating, which means you're probably talking about if it was a peak, it would probably be something more like 200 volts. So I don't know, and I'm guessing that when it's on a full voltage, because it says. MG1, I've looked at some of the documentation and it says MG1 is supposed to be able to produce 273 volts now that's 3 phase AC uh, yeah that's 3 phase AC so I'm only measuring, when I was doing the test I was only measuring a single phase and obviously that was doing RMS on the single phase so that will be root of 2 and not root of 3 so what we need to do is then recalculate so that it's peak by taking the uh, opposite and then recalculate for RMS with a Q. Yeah. Anyway, that's working. Even if it is banging a bit. Alright, 